What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here. Back at it again, like you can always expect. Nah, I mean, and today I'm here to show you the Jacob Creates Chickadee. All right, let's get right into it. You guys are gonna see which one this is in a second. All right, let's get right into it. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. This is the Salt Lake Chickadee in Magna Cut with blue canvas, um, micarta, I guess. And it got a white kydex sheath, as you can see. All right, HRC at 64 to 65, um, 64 to 65 hand ground. All right. And a little chick there, little bird. All right. Okay, guys, let's do a uh, size measurement here first all right so we got it at like five and a dude this this shit even with the sheath on it it's barely five and a half all right it's like not even there it's like right there okay so here's the sheath up close all right Got the Jacob Creates logo right there. The Jacob Ginsburg logo. All right. So let's get right into this. Okay. Put the knife down. The sheath is uh, pretty nice. All right. And the button says pull. Um, wait, pull the dot. Pull the dot right there. All right. Just to, if you want to unhook the loop, all right? Now, I got the hand ground, all right? Hand ground. It's kind of hard to see in this light. But it's hand ground. You're just going to have to trust me on that. You can see it there a little bit. So, the blade itself. So, we're at five inches here on the entire knife, okay? The freaking blade itself is only like two and the uh, shit. It's not even two and a half, even if you count all the way up to here. It's at most two and a half inches, all right? So it's a short blade. The handle itself is really short too, two and a half. The handle's about the same length as the whole blade, so it's like a 50-50 ratio, you know, right here. You know, there's the hand ground. You can see it much better in this angle. All right. So, can, let me see if we can get it closer here. Shit, it's hard to hit. All right. So, let's see. Well, can we see anything here? All right, we can see the bevel a little bit. It's blurry as shit. This is one side, and the other side. Okay. Now, I can see right away that the bevels are not even, okay? That's one thing. That's, I guess, is nitpicking. This is a $240 knife. It's nice. I love the scales, actually. The scales feel really uh, premium here. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. Yes, it's kind of hard to see here. Yeah, so 
it is hand ground so you can expect for there to be some deviation from one side to the next right so that's all right okay now let's check the sharpness oh what do we have here right, let's go with this It's like, okay, look, it, it's kind of like sharp, you know, but it's not like really razor sharp. You know what I mean? It's not razor sharp. Like, okay, it's not razor sharp. It's not, okay? It's really not. It's not biting into my hand or anything. I can run my finger on this pretty easily. All right. And this is... I just received it, but, you know, I think these were kind of made for the show. I don't know how much time he had to do these. And if he's doing all of these by himself, I'm sure it's a lot of work. All right. So, yeah, mine isn't the sharp one out of the bunch. I'm sure the other ones are sharper, but, you know, it's done by hand. On the machine, so I mean, you know, it's like whatever. All right, at 240, I would like to see it razor sharp for real, you know, especially on a knife this size. I'm just being honest with you guys, but I think this is a really nice looking little knife right here, you know, and plus, this knife is so hard to get. And this is the Blade Show West exclusive, okay? So if I didn't want this knife, I could easily sell it for what I bought it for or maybe even make a little bit of money on it, okay? Yeah, so let's just see. It's a, it's like a three-finger knife for me. Three-finger knife. Um, it's a little knife, you know? When I first opened the package... My initial uh, reaction to it was like, damn, this is a little knife. <laughs> and I knew it was small from the pictures. Oh, damn, this is snap. Yeah, so if, you put, if you're wearing this on your belt, don't expect to put this on with the only one hand. You're going to need to grab onto that sheath because this is like, it might break in a little bit. But still, it's a good amount of force. Yeah, so I mean, it's really nice and cool. I, this is the smallest fixed blade that most people can get, I suppose. There's not many fixed blades smaller than this one. And um, it's a cool one. You know, maybe uh, shropping it on something a little rough will make that edge sharper. But, you know, I, right now I'm on the fence about keeping this one. I really am on the fence right now, partially because of the size of it, and I'm like, it was 240, well, 250 after shipping, but I'm like, I don't know right now. I think it's cool, but I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it or not right now. It's a hard decision to make, you know, but there is one thing about this knife, for sure. I didn't put it on my belt or anything yet. But this is an extremely easy carry. It will hide right on your belt. No one's going to even know you have a freaking fixed blade on you. A little fixed blade. But, you know, this looks like something fun to cut an apple. Uh, cut an apple, maybe. It's kind of short. But, um, you know, cut something. Some vegetables, maybe. It's almost like a paring knife with a short handle. <laughs> well, maybe the blade's a little short too, but yeah. Yeah, so that's all I really got to say about it. I, I mean, I wish the edge was sharper for real. Um, 
this thing, there, see, there, there was only three left after Blade Show, and uh, it went live on Jacob's website, and I just jumped at it right away. I, had, I stumbled on entering my info, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm probably going to miss it, and I didn't. But once I bought it, it sold out. So I was just fast enough. But, yeah, I'm sure this could probably be sold for, like, 275 you know maybe 300 because this one's a an exclusive to blade show i might keep it still wow it's the same color as the ruler <laughs> that's kind of cool so yeah i'm not sure about keeping it i wish the edge was better i don't even know what the hell i'm saying it's late today um yeah it's like i like it but i'm like do I like it $250 worth? Or maybe if I get the $275 for it, do I like it that much? That's kind of a hard decision here. I don't know. It's really cool, though. It just needs some work on the edge. That's all, really. I mean, this is a nice little knife. Plus, it's like... A <clears throat> A mid tech almost right now uh, it's not custom but it's got hand ground on the um, the blade and uh sharpening probably yeah so that's cool take a look at the paperwork one more time salt lake chickadee in magna cut hand ground right there as you guys can see Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I don't want to make this video any longer. I just want to put this out there. If you like what you saw, subscribe. If you didn't like what you see, uh, if you don't like what you saw, subscribe. If you like what you saw, thumbs up. And subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TimZUSA. Until next time, TimZ.